Hello there, another exciting problem. We're looking at number 80 in our um, 150 lead codes. So we're gonna clone a graph now. Uh, in this particular problem, uh, we are looking at a, uh, we're given one node and we need to clone all of its neighbors and give back the clone. We're gonna do this in three ways. We're gonna create this iteratively, BFS, iteratively, DFS, and we're gonna do it recursively, DFS. Um, to to use the recursive method and use the stack. Um, all right. So what we're gonna do to to do BFS is that we're gonna create this item, look at all of its neighbors, and um, create them. And once they are created, we're gonna go back into the queue and have those point uh, towards their neighbors and create those neighbors. DFS is um, when we create one neighbor, what what our first item. Create the neighbor. If that neighbor doesn't exist, create that, and and create all those their neighbors, and it will create those neighbors here. And this particular item will create its neighbors, and this will try to create its neighbors or will point back to this particular location and point it back. One thing we learned about uh, this uh, creating creating graphs, uh, cloning items, uh, nodes, especially uh, in our um, linked list items. We were cloning copy copy list uh, from random pointers. What we did was we used a hash map, hash map to store uh, our old uh, item pointing to the brand new item, so that we can keep track of it. So that's the first thing we need to, uh, in all of these cases is that we need to be able to point to the old item that we have created already, um, and that way we don't lose track of everything because we 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 know in both methods, BFF. BFS or DFS, um, we will be moving off uh, uh, our current node, and there will be we, we need to be able to point back to it uh, eventually, and uh, and we'll be moving off of um, as if we as as we move from one to two to three to four for DFS, and when we move from one to two, and we need to point back at one. Okay. Anyways. Um, so uh, let's get to the this time. Let's do BFS first. So if not node, first things first. Um, let's return um, and we create our old to new. So to create our um, BFS, uh, let's first uh, create our copy into our dictionary and um, then then move from on from there. So we're gonna create this and throw it into our old to new. Um, so that we have one item to begin with. And we're gonna populate our queue. So while queue, uh, we're gonna start popping. Um, And take the first item, and for each item, um, we're gonna look at all of its neighbors and start um, adding them, cr uh, cr adding them to um, our neighbors set. If they don't exist, then we'll, we'll create them and add them to the queue. Once we have done uh, otherwise, uh, it doesn't exist yet, so we need to create the copy. Uh, put that into our uh, hash sets. And then throw it into our queue.
And uh, I think we're missing one thing when we're... Yes, um, we need to append... this um, new copy. And then, once we're done, return uh, node copy. Run. And submit. Okay, uh, pretty slow here. That's fine. Um, and so uh, this is, oh, this is the, this is not, this is actually uh, a stack because we popped instead of pop left. And so this is actually DFS. Now we're going to do BFS by popping left. All right, a little bit faster. Okay, now um, with that, we're going to now do the DFS method. This is going to be a lot less code, uh, but it's very similar. So stick with me here. So uh, if not node, return. And... Um, we do a we're going to just return the dfs of the node um, dfs of node is always going to return a copy oh we need to do old to new of course all right so we have um if uh, node is in old to new then uh, let's return it so old to new um, node so we're just trying to get the copy back to its uh, rightful place and to the person who needs it so basically if we put node in let's make a copy of it so node copy is equal to node of uh, node.val um, and we need all of its neighbors. So, um, so for um, n node, uh, for neighbors in node, not neighbors, for neighbor in node, not neighbors, uh, we're going to uh, assign um, node dot copy dot append uh, dot neighbor dot append the copy of this DFS of uh, the neighbor because we're trying to copy its neighbor and DFS will create a copy or find one and with that uh, we will append uh, and create our item and once we're done uh, creating our items uh, our entire uh, neighbor tree for our particular node, this is basically last node for, return the copy, node copy because it is done now and the next the next item can uh, look at uh, this particular item, append it with all of its neighbors and um, then look at the next neighbor, see if it exists and, and start from there. So let's, let's run the code. Oh, node is not object. Neighbors. Okay, there we go. Oh, insert is been deselected. Let me just judging. Hmm. Maximum recursive depth. Ah, right. So we forgot to add um uh, at node equals uh node copy. So we forgot to add it to our hash set, which means that it will be infinite loop because we never be able to call back. Um, right, and that is uh, the three solutions to our particular problem. We did the iterative BFS, the iterative DFS, and we did um, the, the, the recursive method. Uh, let's take a look at that. Yeah, all of this code is there. Uh, let me remove my face so that uh, we can oh wrong one, um, so we can see all the code in one screen. Um, any if there, I was hoping to ask you guys if there's any questions, but I guess I can't ask you guys because this is a video. 
Uh, but if you do have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. If nothing is doesn't make any sense, if anything doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, this is how uh, we do a BFS, DFS, and iter do it iteratively. So I hope you learned something today. What we learned, uh, let me review, is that we learned that we can do a lot of these graph problems in an iterative and a re recursive method. Um, we can also get the BFS and DFS method, uh, very simply. So in, in this particular BFS method here, uh, we see that if it's very similar, so um, we we basically create all that we need uh, and, and move on, or we found it and it's created ready and we point to it. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. If you want more, check the link in the description below. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one.